Welcome to another episode of The Adventures of Waffles. That's right, we're doing back-to-back -back double episodes because apparently that's what you want. That's what you care about, so that's exactly what I'm going to give you. I made a poll recently asking what you'd like to see next, and basically 50% of you said, give me more Adventures of Waffles. I expected, you know, a little bit of variety, but no. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is what you guys want, so this is exactly what you guys are going to get. And the original intent of my channel, or maybe not the original attempt, but basically what I've come to enjoy doing is kind of like the Adventures of Waffles and then switch it up a little bit by doing something between episodes just to change it up, just, you know, variety and stuff like that. But hey, this is what you want, so this is what I'm going to do. And I'm enjoying it as well. These videos are a lot of fun to make because playing the game is fun, but playing it solo and basically discovering different ways of doing things and just doing things and creating some chaos on my own. It's definitely a very fun experience, and it's a different experience versus playing with other people. So this is a lot of fun. We're, we're, doing, we're doing good things here, and I think, I think this is going to be pretty great. We're, we're having a fun episode here. We're just doing some basic home maintenance. We're, of course, going to you know do some gardening stuff and punching, punching some turnips, of course, because that's just one as one does. <laughs> Early on in the episode, you kind of saw me contemplating everything. Uh, yeah, my workstations are in a, a pretty good spot. I like that, but they're a little bit cluttered, a little bit pushed toward the inboard section. I don't know, but as you can see right now, I am putting things away. I'm grabbing the waffle iron, which is no longer retired, of course, and it's got to go into the two spot because that's the standard button that I push for weapons. I don't like that plot, that spot that I put the uh, the waffle smasher in. It's kind of supposed to go there. The, uh, the up upstairs kind of upper decker spot right there is basically the unofficial spot for retired items. But yeah, we are preparing to fight motor it's gonna happen this is what we're going to do but uh, we probably should brew some more stuff and so i just i grab what i need to okay well i guess i don't have 10 red berries i don't have 10 raspberries so once again we are going on <laughs> just a basic day one mission to collect raspberries because i just i don't collect nearly enough of them i just get bored of doing that so i just grabbed a few and i came back and yeah, it's, I just don't do it nearly as much as I should. But we have the stuff, we have what we need, and we can make the mead. So let's get that brewing. And I guess we also might as well get the uh, the stamina one brewing as well, because it just makes sense. We have two of the uh, fermenters. We, we just, we have the stuff. We should just get them both going. You know, we're eventually going to run out. So this is a good idea. We need to prepare our stuff. We need to prepare the future for the future. So we're going to do that. Obviously, I am talking on this way too much. I am lingering because the uh, the video clips are still showing this process because I didn't edit it short enough. So I'm just talking over and over and over again about random and dumb things. But yeah, we are prepared. And now it is time. Let's go to Mountain One because we practically have a portal right there. We have that little shelter that we uh, kind of just commandeered in the mountains, like this this beautiful little shelter right here. Yeah, not bad at all, but we are right next to the motor portal. With the motor, motor, motor portal? No, it is not a motor portal. It is just the motor. motor. <laughs> Oh, this is great. The motor, uh, you know, boss location. But we have to grab eggs. We have to grab these glorious Drake eggs, dragon eggs. And yeah, they are super heavy. They are unportable. Unportable. So yeah, we got to grab each one individually and bring them all the way over here. But look at that. We have a, uh, yeah, stone golem just randomly popped up here. But we have the waffle iron, the definitely appropriate weapon to handle this fight. Now, obviously, the most appropriate weapon is the pickaxe. It is, I think, two times weak to pickaxes, pickaxing. Um, but it's yeah, not the most effective weapon. It's obviously very, very weak to that kind of damage just for the pickaxe, not pierce damage specifically, just pickaxes. It's kind of weird, but pickaxes don't block and I am not the best at being squirrely and pickaxes are slow. So waffle iron takes care of it very, very quickly. It's still very effective against stone golems because you know, big old giant mace against rock is a good thing. It's rock, paper, mace and rock does not win against the mace. But yeah, Drake is also trying to defend its, <laughs> its mother, I guess. Uh, yeah, sorry, but you, you need to, you need to go. 
and we're gonna take care of this wolf as well because yeah these these mobs seem to not want me to kill motor it's too early no it's not too early it's time it is definitely time but yeah we need more eggs so let's see if we can find some more eggs hey look at that we found some more eggs <laughs> this is great uh yeah another wolf down here and in hindsight i should have just pushed it into that previous uh the, the, the hole right there and i could have tamed it i could have had a friend but the problem with taming something that's not on your normal island or your normal area is you have to transport it and i don't think transporting a wolf on a boat is a good idea Idea. But yeah, you saw a stone golem kind of pop up over there, but it wasn't something that saw me, so I just ignored it. But yeah, it's it's difficult because you can't really transport uh, wolves very easily, and I just don't want to deal with it. And I'm not really going to be doing a whole lot on this island after I kill Motor. So what's the point except to make some friends? But I definitely could have and probably should have made those friends. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have created an army of wolves to defeat Motor. But I mean, that's definitely fun and that's cool. But we're not doing that. We are just, we're taking it on, taking Motor on, on our own. On, motor on, on our own. Uh, ah, yeah, words. <laughs> tongue twisters today. Today is the episode of Tongue Twisters, apparently. Dragon Egg 2 is acquired and we are continuing on. We've made it back. Actually, this is Dragon Egg 3 because I am bad at remembering things. But we have, we have definitely gathered what we need. But it is nighttime and I don't want to fight Motor at night. That just seems like a really, really dumb idea. So I head home and I'm going to sleep and it's just going to be uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be better. So let's just, you know, take a little take a little snooze right here. Good old good old fashioned snoozy snooze. Skip past the, uh, <laughs> yep, so we're doing it. We're, we're doing great. And, uh, yeah, inventory management. Manage the inventory. What is, what is compelling about this? Yep, awkward look into the camera. Yeah, we don't need to do anything else. We have our rest bonus. This is it. This is good. We're, we're doing just fine. We are ready. We're prepared. We want those fire arrows because I think Motor is very susceptible to fire. And yeah, Random Drake is like, hey, no, don't kill my mother. I don't know why I gave it that voice. This is, is this an unhinged video? It probably is. It is technically 5 a.m. and I am switching my sleep schedule to the day shift. Uh, yeah, so I'm a little delirious and alive. We're okay. So yeah, we've got a nice cinematic shot going around the motor section right here, the motor spawner. Not a spawner. I don't know. Sacrifice, sacrificial chamber. We are. We have made the sacrifice. <laughs> Holy crap! This is great. Uh, yeah. So let's let's uh, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Let's fight this glorious dragon boss. Look at that. And of course, my first arrow misses like an idiot. But hey, I can do this. Okay, right over the shoulder. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I can hit. I'm actually okay. Yeah, bumping into the trees. All right, well, <laughs> first three or so arrows missed horribly, but we finally made contact. Motor is on fire and it's doing practically no damage, but it's okay. This is gonna be a slow fight, like pretty much all fights, but yeah, I kind of figured that, uh, well, I guess I figured it would be a whole lot more of a, an air battle, but Motor jumps right down to meet me real quick. Bone massing time, yep, popped a bone mass, and yeah, Waffle Iron is out. I forgot to push the one button as well to grab the shield, there it is, and we're doing it. We've got bone mass pops, so we're not going to take too much damage from Motor, but I'm still being really squirrely, still doing the whole dodgy weavy, and it's going pretty great, honestly. So far, so good. I'm actually pretty effective at dodging things. I'm, I'm definitely getting better and better, and yeah, well, I mean, he says as he gets <laughs> ice spray in the face, uh, yeah, we're okay. We're not taking too much damage, and I kind of just wait right here to see what happens. I thought it would attack, uh, so I was ready to roll out, but it seems to be kind of like caught under I'm, I'm under its chin or something like that i don't know what's going on there but as you can see it's kind of glitching left and right it's okay we're exploiting something i guess we're not supposed to hit it this close i don't know what did it expect it's supposed to be better than this it should be fine but motor once again she takes to the sky so yeah we're back to using arrows and i probably should have just used fire arrows but i'm kind of just testing things out and motor is kind of cowering behind the, uh, the tree but it's okay uh i'm trying to test the arrows 
those out to see which ones are the most effective. Yeah, fire is good because it does have damage over time. Definitely a very effective thing, but hey, motor does not stay in the uh, in the air for very long. But yeah, we're moving on. We're trying the Acura out a little bit and it was fine, but it took a lot of stamina and it's just not the best item for this. So we're back to the Waffle Iron and this is definitely the best weapon for this, this fight. Uh, yeah, Sword would have been fine, but we have been pretty much exclusively um, using maces, no swords. We cannot use swords in this playthrough. And oh yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool view right there. I love the colors of the sky and it's just, it's just a nice view, you know? but I did want to try the Frost Waffle. I know it is definitely not the most effective weapon, but it still does some pretty decent damage, and Motor is immune to Frost damage, but it needed to get a couple hits in there because, you know, maybe maybe something, maybe something magical will happen. I have no idea. So I wanted it to at least get a little bit of skin in the game, and it got a couple good hits in, but we're okay. We're, we're breaking out the Waffle Iron just again, and it's going to do most of the work, probably about 85% of the work, and <laughs> I guess the, uh, the the bow will do most of the rest of the stuff. But yeah, we're, we're slowly whittling it down, and Motor is slowly losing health. And yeah, she's, she's trying to swipe me, but I am very squirrely. I'm learning to dodge and bob and weave, and you know, the old uh, dodgeball saying, dodge, duck, dive, duck, dodge. That's the official, uh, you know, you gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> Motors once again on fire, and yeah, we're gonna use some needle arrows because I have them, and I wanna see if they're going to be effective. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but for some reason it looks like it poisoned Motor. I don't know, she's taking some sort of damage over time. Needle arrows don't seem to have any damage over time effect. I have no idea what's going on there. Maybe you do, but I did notice that it looked like she was poisoned when I used needle arrows. Oh well, it's okay. I will take all the damage that I can get on this guy, this gal, this this motor, this giant dragon. And hey, look, one of her babies is trying to kill me. But nope, sorry, we uh we're trying to <laughs> no stamina. We're struggling to jump just a little bit, but we're okay. We don't need to take any potions just yet. One more stab with an arrow to the chest, and that baby is down. The little Drake is down. But motor, all right, here we go. Take a mace into the chin. And yeah, such cool views. I really like fighting motor. I think this is one of the most aesthetic boss fights. It's a cool boss. I love dragons. Everybody loves dragons. Uh, uh, not gonna go there. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking it too, but we're not gonna go there. But yeah, I skip around a little bit. This fight is definitely a really, really long fight. And it's a repeat of, you know, the same old, same old stuff. It's nothing fancy. But again, I do think Think this is one of the coolest boss fights. I think because it's more based in, um, I don't know if I'd say it's reality. Dragons, not exactly real, but they feel less fantasy than something like a giant blob of ooze and fleshy blobness like bone mass. Uh, for the first time right there, we needed to take a gray pineapple juice. A, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Pineapple juice. Okay. In the waffle verse, the <laughs> waffles canon universe, uh, the pineapple juice is a stamina potion. You see, look at that. It looks like it's kind of glitching to the left and right. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, pineapple juice is the stamina potions. I don't really have a term for um, like health potions, but the, uh, the the major health potions, uh, those are definitely cranberry juices. Juicin. Uh, yeah, chaos is my mouth tonight. This is great. This is fun. <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is good. This is this is a mo this is the motor fight. I don't know if you noticed yet, but we're fighting a, a big old dragon, and it's it's going pretty good. I haven't died yet. And I'm I'm slowly whittling down itself. Yeah, but she's stuck back there. I don't know about stuck, but she kind of stayed right there. So I figured, okay, well, we need to take some. We need the, the the bow needs a little more love. We we have of this bow, and it. Oh, hey, you know what? In my glorious commentary, I'm sure you've already commented. Those who knew, in my glorious commentary, I know now what the uh, damage over time is with needle arrows and the other arrows. It is not necessarily just fire. The other damage over time is that the bow that I'm using, the Draugr Fang, has poison damage just naturally baked into it. I figured it out. I remembered, yeah, I am an idiot, but I'm not completely stupid. I'm dumb, but I'm not stupid. So yeah, what's going on here? Hey, you sad motor? What's uh, what's up? You okay? I noticed that she was just kind of just staying over there, not really doing anything. It's like she was ignoring me. She was sad that I was 
pretty much almost done with this fight. What is, what is going on? I'm sorry, but you gotta go. <laughs> she turned around and eventually started screaming at me once again, while of course she was on fire and poisoned. But uh, yeah, she was just kind of staying over there, and I figured maybe I'd get a good screenshot right there. Nope, not the not the thumbnail, I don't think. But yeah, all right, we'll meet you on your rock over here. You're d disheveled and uh, crag craggly. I don't know what the word is. Uh, your broken rock over here, and we'll, we'll hit you a couple times. And she takes off, and once again, it's an air fight. But yeah. And I take a big ol', actually a couple hits, uh, for kind of for the first time. Um, I've never really had too much trouble with her her air air bursts. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, it's it's okay. I, I did get hit a couple times there, and it definitely hurt, but it wasn't too bad. And I have the juices for this, so yeah, she just once again just kind of stayed over there, and I just kept my distance for a while and pummeled her with arrows. But I got bored, and I just started hitting her again with the waffle iron. But she didn't like that, so she took this guy, as you can see. Definitely a fun fight. Definitely a really cool fight. You can see she's poisoned a little bit, and she's... Oh, okay. Hey, what are you doing? All right, trying to interrupt me while I'm fighting a boss. Of course, we've got interruptions, and I'm thankful that we didn't get too many interruptions. But once again, Motor kind of just... kind of just stays there, and she's... It looks like she's kind of catching her breath, assessing the situation. What are you... What are you doing? All the way up there. You have to land all the way up there. Come on. That's difficult for me to get to. I can't really get up there. I mean, I can, but it's annoying. And the moment I get up there, you're probably just going to take flight again. So why would you just stay up there? Come on. Come on. I know I could just finish you off with this, with the bow. I could. I know I could. But that's not how we do it here. This is not how Waffles handles his demons. And yeah, this is this is this needs to be we are primarily melee fighters in this playthrough in this game. That's just kind of how I like to do things. And of course, we have to get the final hit with something fun like the waffle iron. So come on, let's cuddle. I forgot I wrote that. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. OK, Moda takes flight once again and the fight is kind of on again. I know I could just pummel her again with arrows, but I just got to wait for her to land again. And, uh, okay. All right, land here. All right, well, whatever. Let's dodge and we'll just, okay. Where are you going to land? Where are you going to land? Uh, oh, son of a biscuit with gravy again. All right, way behind that rock. Maybe I can meet you over here. All right, fine. We'll run away. Well, not run away, but we'll run toward you. You hiding? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely looked like Motor was hiding right there, but it's okay. We can take the Waffle Iron out, and actually, you know what? We have a really good opportunity to do something real fun. Let's ride Motor. Okay, <laughs> I think this is perfect, but we ran out of stamina. Uh, okay, she kind of bucks me off, but we're, we got a, bunky, a bucking Bronco. <laughs> a bucking Bronco Dragon. We are riding Motor, and it is glorious. I took a pineapple juice, as you saw, because for this to work properly, Properly, we need stamina, but this is this is happening. This is happening, Motor. We're going to we're gonna make this work. We are going to get the final hit while we're riding you on your back. This is gonna be fantastic. Okay, okay, let's gain some stamina. Jump and okay, all right. Uh, okay, we almost got you. You're like a half a sliver. We got this. Okay, fine then. At this point, I thought for sure it just wasn't gonna happen. That was not gonna happen again. Uh, so yeah, I'm dodging. I'm I'm running away from the icicles, the uh, the delicious. Uh, well, I guess the forbidden popsicles. And motor lands right there. All right. Okay, we can make this work. I got this little uh, this little entryway up here. This little space. I can run up this way. All right. All right. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just stay there, motor. All right. Okay. Quick dodge and. Let's do this. All right. Leroy <laughs> Waffles. Nope. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Motor is in tears and we have defeated the boss. Congratulations. We did it. We have defeated Motor, and of course we have to dance on the altar, and of, well, okay, we're going to get interrupted by this wolf right here, and it just, it just wanted to say hi. Just kind of, kind of wanted to say hi. I know, it can't reach me, but hey, it feels like it was just trying to say hi and congratulate us on our glorious victory against the oppressive and evil motor. <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of let it live and I run back to the portal. We're heading home and 
Yeah, I thought maybe it was following me. It was not. It's okay. Everything's fine. We are back at the Waffles home. And yeah, let's just go ahead and do what we need to do. We have the artisan table. And yeah, as you can see, we're a little cluttered here. We're eventually going to need to do some sort of renovation. This is this is not going to work. But for now, at least, we can pop the artisan table down right there. And look at that. We've unlocked a few more things. We have officially reached the next age of this glorious playthrough of ours. And yeah, after a good sleep, I, uh, yeah, day 103, we're, we're doing good. Uh, I go to the altar and the time has come to do the thing again. We are sacrificing the head to the gods. Look at all of our glorious kills, all of our glorious conquests. And now we have officially added to that conquest. Another boss down. Another one to go, of course. Well, I mean, a couple more to go. But yeah, one step closer. And yep, Forsaken Sacrificed. Motor is a, uh, a boss uh, power that I'll never use. Well, I mean, I probably could use it. It could be handy if I put a portal down here, which I actually did off camera uh, after I did this. I just didn't record it because I'm an idiot. But I did put a I did put a portal down there. That's really handy. But yeah, the Waffle Iron is kind of retired once again. It probably will see some more use. I don't know yet. But hey, once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you're still having fun with this series, please let me know. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if that's something you want to do. And hey, I will see you in the next one. Later.